Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 3 Episode 11 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. I can't say for certain what's in those two vials that Senku mixed together. I mean, even with the clue of the emerald green color. Plaster is primarily composed of gypsum, which is calcium sulfate dihydrate, and it, it's very, very common. It's used in fertilizer, drywall, blackboards, and of course, plaster. And it comes in the form of like drywall, yeah, it's dry drywall powder. That's interesting. But basically, you, you mix the calcium sulfate with water, and then it hardens, which leads me to believe that one of those is water, and the other is probably gypsum. Emerald green no eki wa tada no ryusan ko no mizu da. Shiroi kona no hou wa musui ryusan calcium tte na. Atatameta ryusan ni kai no kona mazete. Shiroi katamari ga tamatta. Anhydrous just means without water, and that means that the vial contains powder of calcium sulfate, and the other one, as we know, is water. And pouring them in like that, sealing the entrance, means that as the chemical reaction takes place, the plaster is going to expand, but not explode necessarily. I mean, I, I don't know about the, in, the intricacies of expand versus explode. I, I, I guess it could be a silent bomb. I mean, there's just semantics at that point, but the actual chemistry is correct. Concrete in itself is very porous, and it makes sense for this reaction to take place, as shown, because expanding immediately into the little air sockets around it and then it's going to further move until it just breaks because that cork is sealing off the end where if it was going to expand it would just go in the path of least resistance which is right back where it came from but you seal it and it just slowly works its way out and if you ever want to try this at home i you know what don't try this at home just because i don't want anyone to get hurt uh, but something i've done by accident is actually if you fill a water bottle to the brim with water and let's like a plastic water bottle you can buy from a store and throw it in your freezer. When water freezes, it expands. And it's a similar principle. When you seal it off with a cap and it expands, the bottle almost always explodes. Senku, <laughs> That night sky is not easy to discern because a lot can happen in 3,700 years to what we can see with telescopes and there are some amazing spots in Japan to actually go stargazing. I think I know what Senku is looking at. According to the Japanese Ministry of Environment, Archie Village or Nagano has a gondola which will take visitors 1,400 meters high to an altitude where there's no light pollution at all. It's effectively like the highest height they can go to is like an observatory. That's why those like the Griffith Observatory in LA, that's why it's built so high because the least amount of light pollution is there. And then you can see views like this. This night sky is similar to what is behind Senku right now. There are some other really nice spots where you, you can even see the Milky Way galaxy, uh, such as uh, it's uh, big... It's in Texas. It's like a Big Bend National Park in Texas. That, uh, Or one of my favorite spots for stargazing is actually Death Valley National Park in California. Very far away from civilization. You can get some incredible looks at our galaxy. My favorite photo of the Milky Way was taken by Dennis Deghiani in 10 Day France. This looks like something out of Star Wars. And the picture, to me, really captures the beauty of outer space. The last galaxy I want to mention is one that I just found actually while I was googling some photos of this to show you guys, and I just thought it was really cool. It's called the Pegasus Dwarf Irregular Galaxy. This photo was taken by Greg Rakowski, or uh, sorry, Greg Rakowski, and it shows a basically a pink lightning bolt cutting down the sky in the middle, and the colors shown here are just beautiful, and most of this is hydrogen and helium gas. If I was to do a vlog series about finding stargazing spots, would you guys be interested in that? Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you guys want me to do. <laughs> really 
really quick side note, Nizumi means rat in Japanese and that's where the name for all these things come from. And four wheel drive means that the front two and the back two wheels are connected through a transfer case that splits the power evenly. It's a lot more useful if you are at lower speeds and like rough terrain. All wheel drive uses a variable connection such as that each of these tires are independent and the vehicle can make quick adjustments to speed and power. It's a lot more versatile, but it's also not as effective on off-road. <laughs> Here's what's crazy. Nitric acid is produced commercially by passing ammonia and air over an oxidation catalyst, which is usually a gauze woven from a platinum, just straight up platinum, or sometimes it'll be a platinum rhodium alloy wire. Typically, the temperature of the gas leaving the gauze ranges from 800 degrees Celsius all the way up to 960 degrees Celsius. This process is also patented, and Dr. Stone never fails to amaze me with their level of research. While they're fighting with the person with the petrification beam, if they carried a vial of this stuff, or just in some way, shape, or another, just had it in contact with their skin at all times, does that make them immune to being petrified? For people who have already read the manga, let it, that spoil that for me. If that's physically on them in some way, are they just immune to it? We also found out that Senku is not adopted, right? Like, he is his friend's kid who just hangs out with Byakuya a lot, but I don't think Gakyo adopted him, or at least that's what I interpreted, maybe I got that wrong. Is this the last episode in Season 3 Part 1? Because I was told there's two parts, I'm really not sure, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I wish you all the best rest of your day.